Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome to the next James Layton Fitness Podcast, episode 155. Now within this particular podcast, we'll be discussing tips to help manage hunger more effectively within the fat loss phase. The reason why this is so critical is, in my opinion, there's two big reasons why people fail to achieve their fat loss goals. The first and most obvious is lack of results people just give up if they're not achieving their results they binge they go off track they do another diet or exercise program but the second big reason why they fail to achieve their fat loss goals is because of hunger hunger can become a real problem within the fat loss phase and if you're not applying tactics to manage it effectively again you can be in position where you binge you go off track, you give up completely or you move on to the next diet or exercise program and therefore by applying some of these tips within the fat loss phase really help tremendously, it help you to adhere to the diet more effectively and as a result just get better overall progress. So the first big tip, this is probably the most powerful and this is something I apply to myself within a fat loss phase, this is what I suggest to a lot of my coaching and personal training clients to do and that is essentially moving more of your calories later in the day and that therefore means that you need to have less calories earlier in the day, more calories later in the day and the reason why this is an effective is typically most people are more hungry later in the day and therefore if you position more calories later in the day when you're most hungry it can play a little bit of a psychological trick in you because it makes you think you're not actually dieting because you're still having a lot of calories in the evening. It's also really important to note that fat loss is a result of the calorie deficit over the course of the day, week and month over a chronic period of time and that's that Therefore, it doesn't particularly matter if these calories come in the morning, the evening, the afternoon, spread throughout the day. It really does not matter as long as you're creating that calorie deficit at the end of the day, week and month, ultimately hitting some well set up calorie and macronutrient targets by the end of the day. So that's really the first tip and that does help tremendously because most people aren't as hungry in the mornings they're more hungry in the evenings and just by saving calories until later in the day can help blunt hunger. So this is a similar approach to intermittent fasting where you have a fasting period and then approximately an eight hour feeding window. This isn't exactly the same because you can still have calories early in the day but you're just limiting your intake and then focusing on more calories later in the day but it's a similar approach. The second big approach you can start implementing is increasing your fiber intake. Fiber keeps you fuller for longer and therefore by increasing your fiber intake can help to again blunt hunger. So focus on trying to increase your fibrous vegetable intake in particular. These are very high in fiber and therefore can help blunt hunger within the context of a fat loss phase. So try within each and every meal try and stock up on as many fibrous vegetables as possible. Another great reason why this is beneficial, not only the micronutrients that are within these vegetables, but also they're very low in calories for the amount and they're very they're very high volume foods, as I'll I'll discuss high volume food shortly but essentially you can have a lot of them without making a significant dent into your calorie targets and that's obviously very beneficial because again it feels like you're eating more food more calories than you actually are the next tip similar to what I just mentioned previously is focusing on foods that typically have a higher volume this is mainly focusing on single ingredient whole foods typically these foods are a have a higher volume as opposed to more processed food which typically has less calories compared to the amount of volume and again the real key of this is just allows you to feel fuller while having less calories it fills you up more as opposed to focusing on more processed options that are typically lower in volume but have more calories and that can really help tremendously so even though I'm a big believer of the a flexible approach to a diet allowing some processed food in moderation if hunger starts to become a real issue within the context of a fat loss phase it's worthwhile transitioning to the vast majority if not all of your intake coming from whole food just because these foods are higher in volume they have less calories and therefore this will help to minimize and blunt hunger within the context of a fat loss phase so start applying these tactics immediately within the fat loss phase they really will help tremendously it will make a huge difference especially the tactic of moving more of your calories later in the day that really is a game changer for a lot of people because again it doesn't matter at what 
point throughout the day you're consuming these calories as long as you're still creating the calorie deficit. So feel free to move more of your calories later in the day and that will make a huge difference with regards to blunting hunger within the context of fat loss phase. So thank you very much for listening. If you're still yet to subscribe to the channel, please do and I'll look forward to speaking to you next week. Thank you very much.